here today? Uh, to enjoy all the festivities of the gumbo cook-off, uh, which has been here in this town for quite some time. And uh, we enjoy the, uh, the people who come out and all of the uh, Cajun culture. Tell us about the competition itself. What does it take to enter? I heard you had something called the gumbo police. Yes, ma'am. The gumbo police is the, uh, they come in the morning and they, uh, they look through all of your uh, ice chests and whatnot to make sure that you aren't bringing anything that is uh, pre-made. So you have to prepare your own roux and you have to prepare your own stock. So everything is uh, homemade the day of. And uh, at 6 o'clock, they have Mr. Paul, and he shoots the uh, cannon, and that is the time that you can fire your own cannon, um, fire your own pots, and get started. So at 6 o'clock, 97 teams get started all on the, the same, uh, I guess at the same time. So it's a, it's a fair event. A lot of people that aren't from here come here. Do you think they enjoy experiencing all this gumbo? Very much so. We have, uh, they have some friends that come through from uh, St. Louis, Missouri, uh, who uh, come down every year and enjoy this. And uh, I've noticed that over the last couple of years, they've been coming from all over the world, uh, Jap uh, from Japan, and uh, they are just come out to enjoy our culture as much as we enjoy theirs. This is about our sixth year here, and uh, last year was the only year that we didn't place, but um, this year, we're hoping for a little better luck. And what have you seen here today? What have you tasted? I've tasted quite a few gumbos. Um, of course, Dotrieve. I've also tasted um, Mac and Henny um, and NWS. They're going to announce the winners here pretty shortly. Are you optimistic? Yes, ma'am. I am very optimistic. In our seafood division, we got a finalist, and we, uh, we entered more cups to the judges, and we are hoping to win. Tell me why you came out today. I've always wanted to come to the gumbo cook-off. I've never been and I live not too far away, so I decided to come on today. Did you see any of the different kind of gumbos? Yes, they have a variety, really. Um, it's going to be a hard decision to choose. Why are we here? To find out the greatest cooks in the world! So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start off with the amateur seafood. Third place in amateur seafood. Booth number 20, just having fun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for second place in amateur seafood, Jen's Trend Dock of the Bay, number 61. First place goes to Trinity Trahorn, number 87. And now for the amateur melange. What's in melange? We have no idea normally. It could be duck, it could be, it could be something floating in the bayou or something, but it's all good, believe me. For the melange, very place. Oh, we have a repeat. Number 20, just having fun. It's Norris Cooking Team. And now, ladies and gentlemen, amateur chicken and sausage. Third place goes to none other than Norris Cooking Team. Second place, amateur chicken and sausage goes to Clico! This gumbo in the world goes to Mitch Off Beck and our Optimus Club. Let's get into the professional division. Professional seafood. Third place goes to Carbo Ceramics. professional seafood. Who is it but Team Tabasco? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So seafood, gumbo in the world. First place goes to Bayan Rue in Unlimited. The professional, they Third place, Team 
Cyprus Bayou. And now, professional Baylon, second place goes to Cruel Room. And the best professional Baylon gumbo you can eat is found right down the street at Clementine's Restaurant, first place. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the last category, professional chicken and sausage gumbo. Third place goes to Team Coffin, number 82. Professional chicken and sausage goes to Team Tabasco. And now, for the place to get the best professional chicken and sausage gumbo, right here in New Iron Louisiana, who do we give it to? Because they're the best in the world. First place goes to True Blue. you won today? Well, we actually won two awards today. First award we won, we came out second place with the uh, melange category where we did a smoked duck and we made our own smoked sausages with uh, uh, duck breast and, and pork and roasted garlic, green onion. We also smoked some of it and we also smoked our duck with cherry wood. And then we came out first place in the chicken and sausage category where we used like 60 pounds of uh, smoked sausages and andouille and we made uh, 40 gallons of stock for that gumbo. We've been prepping for this thing for the whole week to be able to, you know, we had lost the title a couple of years ago and our goal this year was to make sure that we won the chicken and sausage this year and we, and we accomplished our goal. So, um, are you excited about, I know this isn't your first time, tell us about that. No, it's not. Actually, this time is my eighth time I've won the World Championship. I've won it three times in amateur and this is my fifth trophy as a, a professional. So, we're really excited. It never, gets, it never gets old because if it did, we wouldn't continue to compete. So, it's really exciting to win this award. The people that uh, basically patronize this event, they're uh, just local people here that enjoy the food, that enjoy the culture, music, and um, unfortunately this particular weekend, the um, I guess I could say the uh, atmosphere wasn't um, for gumbo. It was a little too warm and you know we kind of waiting for cold fronts to come through. I think that they should come. It's great food to taste the food. It's family oriented so you can bring out your kids, you can bring your grandparents, you know it's just it's just a good time. You get together and have a good time. And even if you're not from here, people come from beyond New Iberia. What's special about the gumbo here? What's special about the gumbo here is the original. It's with the, um, the trinity, the celery, the onions, the bell pepper, everything that, that the gumbo is consistent of is, is here. What is so unique about this place? There's no other place like Louisiana. We do we do things the old-fashioned way, which is how this festival started. Uh, if you notice, they come out here. None of them have generators or lights or electrical. This is we want people to come out here and enjoy this and see our culture from way it, the way it was back uh, 30, 40, 50 years ago. This was how our our family done things, and uh, we're just trying to get the uh, children and to keep this in the future going strong because we believe in our Cajun heritage. And what about the music and the dancing? Awesome. The people interacting is just nice atmosphere. Really enjoying myself. What about the music and everything else there is to experience here? The music is one of a kind. We have, uh, we have people from all over the world who come enjoy our music and, and all of our festivals, not only the gumbo cook-off, but they come here. Our music is unique. Music was started back 
when all when all families you, you wouldn't go out to the uh, what we call the ballrooms now you'd go out to a family function on Sundays and Saturdays and do family cookouts which is what they brought it they just brought this into the Cajun culture so we can learn plenty about it what do you think people enjoy when they come here oh they actually I mean it's just such a great event you know and most people don't realize it's such a great family event that uh, you can, I mean, you can let your children come in. You don't really have to worry about them. They can run around in the plaza, and it's not like any other event around. And people are so friendly here, and uh, teams help other teams. You know, it's not like a, a competition where you're making a lot of money, you know, but it just, uh, we come out to support the chamber, and uh, most of the teams who compete know that, that it's a fundraiser for the chamber, and that's why we enjoy coming out to do it. And what would you tell people that aren't from this region? Why should they come next year? because just one of the most fun events that you could ever come to uh, and it actually starts and it's a three-day event and, and the people here like I said earlier are so friendly that they want to uh, accommodate you and make you feel welcome when you're here and you don't have to feel like you're a stranger. Basically New Iberia is I guess if you was to come here at 97 teams you would taste the culture and you would taste um, I mean, just the smell in the morning at six o'clock in the morning. Ninety-seven roux being cooked is, um, uh, yeah, it's the smell of its own. If you want to learn the Cajun heritage and what we really are about, is to come down to New Iberia and visit this town. It's a very beautiful town with a lot of history, and uh, the people who come out here enjoy it, and that's a way of life.